Hi everyone, welcome back to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender and welcome to day one of our five for 500K to celebrate 500,000 subscribers. And we're gonna celebrate by making a porn star martini, formerly known as a Maverick martini. Uh, this was created by Douglas Ankra in the UK. I believe he worked at a townhouse bar um, back in about 2002, 2003. And this particular recipe I've seen one of his bartenders make at Lab Bar in Soho. Well, I've watched a video of it. So from as far as I know, this is the closest to the original, the first recipe that I'll be doing. And then I'll follow it up with two recipes, one from the humble bartender uh, who is a bartender over in the UK. I really wanted to make Steve the Barman's, uh, his recipe, his favorite recipe, but unfortunately I can't get the Rubicon passion fruit juice that he uses. Um, so unfortunately, I'll, I'll just have to leave a link in the description below so you can go check out his videos. He's done, I think he's done about 10 different variations or videos on the porn star martini because it is insanely popular over in the UK. Everybody loves it for good reason. It is a sweeter cocktail, but it perfectly showcases passion fruit. It's very vibrant, it's zesty, um, and it's a sweet cocktail. So a lot of people do love it. Um, and then the last cocktail I'm gonna be, or well, the last recipe of the Porn Star Martini, I'll be using the recipe on the back of the bottle. I honestly do not have high hopes for that. It's only a three ingredient cocktail, and by the looks of it, they've just used that particular recipe because it puts the Pessoa in a higher portion, so therefore you're gonna empty your bottle and you're gonna go buy another one. But maybe you won't if you don't like that particular recipe. Maybe they should put a good recipe on the bottle. Anyways, let's get started. Enough waffling. So first video for five for 500K. So the first porn star martini recipe, or the Maverick martini if you prefer, uh, calls for four ingredients, or five if you want to include the champagne, the sidecar of champagne as one of the ingredients. So we're measuring out 45 ml, 1.5 ounces of vanilla vodka. Um, the bartender from Lab Bar, so the bar that Douglas Ankara founded, he used Stolly, but absolute vodka, uh, absolute vanilla vodka is probably um, more readily available in other countries as well. So, just a bit of vodka. You can make it yourself if you like too. Then we've got 15 ml, half an ounce of Persoa passion fruit liqueur. De Kuiper also do a passion fruit liqueur. Then we have passion fruit puree. So this is a puree, so it's just blended passion fruit pulp, uh, and then the seeds are strained out. Don't get it confused with passion fruit syrup, which has sugar and water added to it, which I'll be using in the next recipe. So this is a lot more tart, doesn't have the added sugar, so it isn't as sweet. So 30 ml, one ounce of passion fruit puree. And the recipe that's featured on punchdrink.com actually calls for uh, 60 ml, two ounces, but I prefer this one. Then we have vanilla sugar. Again, if you prefer to make it into a syrup and add it that way, you can but to make your own vanilla sugar, it's 250 grams of sugar to one vanilla bean. So scrape out the seeds, give it a blend, and that's what we've got. So two heaped bar spoons, teaspoons. And I find that because it's been blended, it's, it's a little bit finer than pulverized, so therefore it dilutes into the cocktail a lot easier. Plenty of ice. Give it a shake. So this one has a slightly smaller volume, so I will be using my smaller coupe. and garnish with half a passion fruit floated straight in the glass. Now onto the next two recipes for the Pornstar Martini, and I'll taste them all at the end and let you know which one is my favorite. 
Next, onto the Humble Bartender's recipe. I'll leave a link to his channel up here or to the video so you can check that out. Um, he's on a bit of a hiatus off YouTube at the moment, but go check out his channel. He makes some great videos. And the last video that he did, he said he's gonna be returning soon. So um, many more great videos. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, this particular one calls for just 30 ml, one ounce of your vanilla vodka. So we're just changing up the portions and 30 ml one ounce of your passion fruit liqueur. And so there's no addition of a vanilla sugar, but we're using a passion fruit syrup. So the sweetness will come from the syrup. And 22.5 ml, three quarter ounce. Then he's got the addition of pineapple juice. So we've got 45 ml. 1.5 ounce, so that'll add like a really nice texture and frothiness to the cocktail. And we also have a little bit of lemon juice. So 15 ml, half ounce. Add ice and give it a shake. Now double strain into a chilled coupe. And you can see, because of that extra pasol, it's actually got a really peachy kind of color to it. And the same garnish, half a passion fruit. Cheers, humble bartender. And onto the porn star martini recipe that is on the back of the bottle. I normally say last but not least, but I, actually, I think it is gonna be the, the lesser of the three. So this calls for 50 ml, uh, one and two third ounce. Is that right? Yeah, that sounds about right. Sure. And then vanilla vodka, 30 ml, one ounce. It is a simple cocktail, this, this recipe, three ingredients. And then we've got fresh lemon juice, uh, 20 ml, two thirds of an ounce. So I feel like the other two cocktails, um, it's a passion fruit cocktail. These are gonna 100% highlight passion fruit because you've got passion fruit um, puree or syrup as well as the passion fruit liqueur. But this has only got the passion fruit liqueur. Let's see. It's very pink. It's a very bright pink, it's luminescent. It's the, the same color as the Pessoa, but I don't think you have the that velvety kind of texture that's that's typical with the, the Porn Star Martini. Like you can see these, they've got this, this clear head on the top of them, but this does not. And of course the sidecar of champagne. A lot of people call for a Prosecco. If preferred, you can do that. Uh, the original, I believe, was a champagne. Damn! <laughs> so the reason for the side of champagne or Prosecco, whatever you choose, is to cleanse your palate before you start on your cocktail. Palate cleansed. On to the tasting of the three Porn Star Martinis. The first being what I think is the closest to the original. One from Humble Bartender, which has the addition of pineapple juice, and then the recipe that's on the back of the Persoa Passion Fruit Liqueur bottle. Three ingredients, nice and simple. Um, not that these are complicated cocktails, but that's even simpler. And I'll, again, cleanse my palate. The only problem with the little coupe is that it has a, hot, a bigger surface area, and I feel like the, the bubbles are dissipating a lot quicker than the, the, the shot glass of champagne. So, one star number one. Passion fruit is definitely the hero. When you have the fresh passion fruit as a garnish on the top, 
It's the first thing that comes to your nose. Really rich and vibrant and fruity. The, the cocktail itself has a nice, because it's got a puree in it, it's got like a, a viscous kind of texture. Strong passion fruit flavors because it's got a lot of passion fruit in there um, with the hints of the, the vanilla. Because it's a puree, it is, it's quite thick, it's quite viscous. Decadent, some would say. And Horn Star number two. Well, this one's got, it seems a little bit lighter, but I think that's maybe because of the, uh, the texture. It's still, it's got a nice velvety texture to it, but it's not thick from the puree but it's lighter with the, the passion fruit flavor a little bit. And that I feel like because the lemon juice kind of overtakes the, the vanilla. So the vanilla is a lot more subtle. Horn star number three. Unfortunately, that's the, the, the least favorite of these three recipes. Um, I don't think it's quite it's quite balanced and it's just too full on with the, the Pessoa liqueur and it doesn't have that texture of the other two. Now I know I'm gonna, <laughs> I've just realized that I've got two palate cleansers for the first time in making any of my videos and I'm trying three different cocktails. I haven't cleansed my palate in between. So people are gonna be smashing the keyboard saying that I haven't cleansed my palate in between. So number one, Very thick, fresh passion fruit. Hints of vanilla. Cleansing my palate. <laughs> Sorry guys, I've had a, I've had a few takes. We've done a couple of videos. Shotting champagne. champagne. Make sure you stay tuned for the next few video, video. Make sure you stay tuned for the next few videos. I still think I prefer the original recipe because the pineapple juice kind of gives the flavor, um, the passion fruit and the vanilla, especially the vanilla. That's very, very far in the background as opposed to this one, which is uh, highlighted a little bit more. One minute, 37 seconds later. So which porn star martini recipe would I choose? I'd probably go with the original recipe with which highlights the passion fruit. It has those beautiful notes of uh, vanilla. In saying that, the Humble Bartender's recipe is still delicious. It comes a very close second. Uh, it has a nice velvety texture from the addition of the pineapple juice, but I think it, the pineapple juice also mutes those vanilla notes. The third one on the back of the bottle definitely needs some refining. I don't want to be too harsh on this, but it needs a little bit of work. Number one is my go-to. Um, delicious. Make sure you recreate both of these. Check out the Humble Bartender by link in the description or link up here and let me know which one you prefer. Do a side by side, try them both together. Thanks for watching. Make sure you stay tuned for more five for 500K and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers. That only took 16 minutes and 18 seconds.